Hello. Welcome to the channel. Today is August 18th. In this episode, we are going to talk about Ehang and Yunfu facility. We will discuss the manufacturing processes involved in the facility so that you can appreciate more about the facility. First about Ehang's announcement today. Guangzhou, China, August 18, 2021 Ehang announces the cancellation of the Ehang Yunfu Investor Day due to the latest tightening COVID-19 related travel and group gathering restrictions by the local governmental authorities following the recent Delta variant outbreak in China. The event was originally scheduled to take place in person at the company's new Yunfu production facility today. Some Ehang fans and investors may get upset about the cancellation. But, it is kind of expected if you closely followed the COVID news for China in general and for Guangzhou in particular. For example, here is one of news article about Guangzhou new COVID policy recently before the Yunfu Investors Day. On August 13, Guangzhou City held a press conference on epidemic prevention and control, and the immigration quarantine policy was increased. Recently, local clusters of epidemics caused by overseas imports have spread to many provinces. Guangzhou Discipline Inspection and Supervision Units have adhered to their responsibilities, continued to tighten the string of epidemic prevention and control, and urged all departments at all levels to keep a clear head and implement prevention and control measures. Strengthen the line of defense against the epidemic. As an alternative, the company has posted a video of the Yunfu production facility in operation for investors' reference. The video may tell us a lot of information if we look into it carefully. Before we can fully appreciate Ehang's achievement in the facility operation, we may need to know some background about carbon fiber manufacturing. As you may know, EH216 mainly use carbon fibers as the body and many other parts. Carbon fibers have several advantages including high stiffness, high tensile strength, low weight to strength ratio, high chemical resistance, high temperature tolerance, and low thermal expansion. These properties have made carbon fiber very popular in aerospace. Here is an overall view of the production. The original material is provided as carbon fiber sheets. Ehang then produces various parts from the sheets. After the parts have been made, they will then finally be assembled to become an aircraft. The most time-consuming process is in creating the parts from the sheets. Next, let's know a bit about methods for creating carbon fiber parts. Three methods for creating carbon fiber parts. Manufacturing fiber reinforced polymers, such as carbon fiber parts, is a skillful and labor intensive process used in both one off and batch production. Cycle time ranges from one hour to 150 hours depending on the size and complexity of the part. Typically in FRP fabrication, the continuous straight fibers are joined in the matrix to form individual plies which are laminated layer by layer onto the final part. The composite properties are induced by the materials as much as the laminating process, the way the fibers are incorporated strongly influences the performance of the part. The thermoset resins are shaped together with the reinforcement in a tool or mold, and cured to form a robust product. There are various laminating techniques available, which can be differentiated into three main types. 1. Wet Layup in wet layup, the fiber is cut and laid into the mold then resin is applied via a brush, roller, or spray gun. This method requires the most skills to create high-quality parts, but it is also the least expensive workflow with the lowest requirements to get started with making DIY carbon fiber parts. 2. Prepreg Lamination With prepreg lamination, the resin is infused in the fiber ahead. Pre-impregnated sheets are stored cold to inhibit the cure. Plies are then cured into the mold under heat and pressure in an autoclave. This is a more precise and repeatable process because the quantity of resin is controlled, but it is also the most expensive technique that is usually used in high-performance applications. 3. Resin Transfer Molding, RTM With RTM molding, the dry fiber is inserted into a two-part mold. The mold is clamped shut before forcing the resin into the cavity at high pressure. It is usually automated and used for larger volume manufacturing. At Ehang's current production volume, it is expected that Ehang may mainly use method 2. Prepreg lamination for making their parts. Next, let's see what steps are involved for making a part. 
Step 1. Collecting carbon fiber sheets. Step 2. Cutting. Cutting sheets into pieces for a part. Step 3. Assembling. Assembling the pieces to form the part. Like a complicated 3D jigsaw puzzle. Exact orders of those pieces must be specific. Step 4. Molding. Heating and putting the part into a mold. Step 5. Debulking. Debulking is a process for perfection. Such as removing air and trimming edges of the part. Step 6. Curing. Curing the resin. Putting the resin into a heater. To remove any moisture and other gases. Step 7. Surface preparation. This involves surface treatment such as sanding the part. Step 8. Machining. This process involves using a machine to drill holes into the part for putting wires or bolts through, or things like that. Step 9. Joining parts. This process joins different parts together. Step 10. Surface finishing. This process includes sanding again across joined parts. Step 11. Painting. This process involves painting the joined parts. As you can see, many steps are involved. And not all steps can be fully automated. Particularly for models with frequent changes and upgrades. For Ehang fans and investors, you may appreciate Ehang has mastered all this production in-house and can reduce the production cost and scale. Many Ehang's counterparts are still replying on outside workshops to produce parts and need to continue to rely on external partners to do the future production manufacturing. By now, you may have the background to appreciate more about the production operation of the Yunfu facility, for which Ehang has provided the video. The video is presented next. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.